In order to level the glass printing bed, we need some tools as below. A pair of tweezers, a piece of brand new white paper, an adjustable wrench. In most cases, white paper and tweezers will be enough. Step 1. Lift the Z-axis and push it out of the printing bed. Step 2. Decline the five points down to the bottom. In order to achieve this, we need to rotate the micrometers per direction. Down. Knock at the mandrel to test if the point is already at the bottom. It means it's already at the bottom. When we hear the sound, dada, from the mandrel, it's the same operation for the other four points. Step 3. Knock at the four corners to check if there's any wobbling. It means all five points are already at the bottom if there's no wobbling, and the platform is flat now. Step 4. Move the z-axis to the bottom right. Don't touch the motors during the movement, as the motors could be deformed and deformation could result in printing inaccuracy. Step 5. Click the button, tool. Click, home. Click, Z. Now the Z axis is declining automatically and slowly. Touch the Z axis positioning sensor with the tweezers. When the Z axis is declining to a certain position, now we've stopped the declining of Z axis. Then click back. Click settings. Click motor off. And put the white paper between the glass printing bed and Z axis. Then rotate the Z axis shaft to make the Z axis continue to decline manually until the nozzle touches the paper. When we pull the paper, find rubbing traces like this. Rotate back with the Z axis shaft by half a circle in clockwise direction. Later we should watch through the Z axis window to see if the Z axis positioning sensor light is on or off. Rotate the butterfly shaft behind the aluminum panel a bit to make sure the light is in the state of just on. This is the status what we want, and the Z-axis positioning device is OK now. Step 6. Click, back. Click, tool. Click, home. Click, Z. We can find that there is no rubbing between the nozzle and paper at the first point now. We will do the same for the other four points. Click move, click Z plus to lift the Z axis for 1 millimeter. Then move it to the second point on the top right. Click back, click home, click Z. There is no rubbing between the nozzle and paper on the second point. It will be the same operation for the third point on the top left, the fourth point on the bottom left, and the fifth point in the middle. The purpose of this step is to confirm one thing, that if there's a point higher than other four points, in other words, if there is rubbing between the nozzle and paper on the higher point, if so, we need to level the printing bed based on this higher point, if not, we just level the printing bed based on the first point on the bottom right. Step 7. If there is no higher point, then we just move the z-axis. To the first point on the bottom right, click, back, click, home, click, Z. Then rotate the micrometers per direction, up. Pull the paper during the micrometer rotation. Stop the rotation when there is rubbing between the nozzle and paper. But make sure the nozzle is not breaking the paper. This is the status what we want. It will be the same operation for the other four points. Step 8. Remember to lift the z-axis by 1 mm when we move it to the second point on the top right. The purpose of lifting z-axis by 1 mm is to avoid the case that the nozzle touches and scratches the glass printing bed. Do the same thing for the rest points. Rotate the red micrometer for the point in the middle. Step 9. Lift the z-axis by 40 mm after we level all five points. Then move it back to the first point on the bottom right. Now it's ready for printing.